Mammals are the vertebrates within the class Mammalia. The clade of endothermic antipodes distinguished from reptiles including birds by the possession of a neocortex a region of the brain hair, three middle ear bones, and mammary glands. Females of all mammal species nurse their young with milk, secreted from the mammary glands. Mammals include the largest animal on the planet, the blue whale. The basic body type is a terrestrial quadruped. But some mammals are adapted for life at sea, in the air, in trees, underground or on two legs. The largest group of mammals, the placentals, have a placenta, which enables the feeding of the fetus during gestation. Mammals range in size from the 30 to 40 mm 1.2 to 1.6 in bumblebee bat to the 30 m 98 feet blue whale. With the exception of the five species of monotreme egg-laying mammals, all modern mammals give birth to live young. Most mammals, including the six most species-rich orders, belong to the placental group. The largest orders are the rodents, bats and sorry comorphal shrews and allies. The next three biggest orders, depending on the biological classification scheme used, are the primates apes and monkeys the sirtar the odactyla whales and even toad ungulates and the carnivora cats dogs seals and allies living mammals are divided into the eenoth area platypus and echidnas and theria forms all other mammals there are around 50 for 50 species of mammal depending on which authority is cited in some classifications Extant mammals are divided into two subclasses, the Prototheria, that is, the order Monotremata, and the Theria, or the infraclass of Metatheria and Eutheria. The marsupials constitute a crown group of the Metatheria, and include all living Metatheridans as well as many extinct ones. The Placentals are the crown group of the Eutheria. While mammal classification at the family level has been relatively stable, several contending classifications regarding the higher levels subclass, infraclass and order, especially of the marsupials appear in contemporaneous literature. Much of the changes reflect the advances of cladistic analysis and molecular genetics. Findings from molecular genetics, for example, have prompted adopting new groups such as the anthroth area, and abandoning traditional groups, such as the insectivora. The mammals represent the only livings in Axida, which together with the sorrow should form the amniota clade. The earliest Anaxid mammalian ancestors were Spenacodopolicosaurs, the group that produced the non-mammalian Dimetrodon. At the end of the Carboniferous period, this group diverged from the Sarosid line that led to today's reptiles and birds. The line following the stem groups Henicodonta split off several diverse groups of non-mammalians in apsids sometimes referred to as mammal-like reptiles before giving rise to the proto-mammals Taraxida in the early Mesozoic era. The modern mammalian orders arose in the Paleogene and Neogene periods of the Cenozoic era after the extinction of non-avian dinosaurs, and have been among the dominant terrestrial animal groups from 66 million years ago to the present. Most mammals are intelligent, with some possessing large brains, self-awareness and tool use. Mammals can communicate and vocalize in several different ways, including the production of ultrasound, scent marking, alarm signals, singing, and echolocation. Mammals can organize themselves into fission fusion societies, harems, and hierarchies, but can also be solitary and territorial. Most mammals are polygynous, but some can be monogamous or polyandrous. In human culture, domesticated mammals played a major role in the Neolithic Revolution, causing farming to replace hunting and gathering and leading to a major restructuring of human societies with the first civilizations. They provided, and continue to provide, 
power for transport and agriculture, as well as various commodities such as meat, dairy products, wool, and leather. Mammals are hunted or raced for sport, and are used as model organisms in science. Mammals have been depicted in art since Paleolithic times, and appear in literature, film, mythology, and religion. The faunation of mammals is primarily driven by anthropogenic factors, such as poaching and habitat destruction, though there are efforts to combat this.